In this segment, we're going to talk about using the inventory mass update. The mass update gives you the ability to make changes to multiple products all at once and is an incredible time saver. To get to the mass update screen, you'll go to manage, inventory, and mass update. Now you're able to make changes to any of the fields for each product, unless it was downloaded by Salon Interactive, in which case you won't be able to change the brand, product group, or product name. Let's start by talking about some of the filters. The filters box is there so that you can filter out the things that you don't need to update and only show the products for the criteria that you choose. For instance, if I want to make changes just to the colorproof products, I'll highlight colorproof and click go, and that will show me only the colorproof products. There's also a print physical inventory button in the top right. This is great for a physical inventory count because it'll give you an area to write in how many you actually have of each product in the salon. If you're using a tablet or a laptop, it's easy to just bring the computer over to your shelf and input the changes directly into the software without printing it out. Next, let me show you what each of the columns mean. The first column is the SKU number. The SKU is the same thing as the UPC or the barcode, or you can also enter the distributor code in this field. Every product must have a SKU, this field is required. The next column displays the company that makes the product. You can lump individual products into product groups. For instance, hair care would be one group, skin care would be another group. And the next column is the product name. The next column is the size, which can be helpful because sometimes you'll have the same exact product, but in different sizes. In the cost column, you'll input your salon's cost for that product. The retail price will be the price that you charge your client for the product. The on hand field will show the quantity of each product that you physically have in the salon. The target quantity is the quantity of each product that you would like to have stocked on your shelf and in the back room. The use up days is the number of days, usually 30, 45, 60, or 90, that it takes for the average person to use up the product in this size. Once they go beyond the set days for that product, the next time that they're in the salon, there will be a notification at the top of the next sales ticket reminding you to sell another product to that client. You can mark a product active or inactive. An active product is one that you're currently selling in your salon. An inactive product is either one that is not being sold anymore from the manufacturer or you've decided to not sell it in your salon any longer. Under the retail column, you can either choose retail or professional. Retail is sold to clients and professional is used by the salon for salon services. When you sell a product or mark it out for inventory use, the software should keep track of your inventory for you. But it's a good idea to periodically count your inventory to make sure that the software matches what is on the shelf. If you need to take a product off the retail shelf and use it for back bar, you're going to want to go to tickets and then inventory use. Notice that when I marked this anti-frizz shampoo for inventory use, it changed our on-hand quantity from four to three. Now let's pretend it's that time of the year when you want to make sure that the on-hand quantity in your software matches what is in the salon. You'll go to the mass inventory update, you'll check what's on the shelf, and you'll change the on-hand quantity if it doesn't match. So let's say we actually have two anti-frizz shampoos instead of three, I'll change that number to two. As far as the two ounce bottles go, we actually have three instead of five. I'm gonna change that to three. And with the 25.4 ounce bottles, we have six. So I'm gonna change that to six. When you're done making all of your changes in the mass update, you'll go to the bottom and save changes. After you've gone through this whole page and made all the changes that you need to to update your inventory and click save changes, you'll go to the next page just by clicking this next button and do the exact same thing. It's important to periodically go through your inventory and make sure that your on-hand quantity matches what you actually have in the salon. If the numbers are inaccurate, then when it comes time to order new products, your orders will not be the correct amount. The mass inventory update is a really nice part of the software that allows you to make quick changes to multiple products all on one screen.